Hello, welcome back to RC Video Reviews. Today I'm going to show you how to bind the FlySky FSIA6B receiver to the RadioMaster TX16S. Hey, you know from the start I've been using FR Sky receivers, but now I've got a TX16S with a multi-protocol module and I'm free. I can use whatever receivers I want. Well, I got a good deal on this FlySky FSIA6B from Value Hobby. They sell this thing for 11 bucks. It's just a standard six channel receiver, but hey man, 11 bucks, I'll try it. So I'm gonna show you how to bind this to a TX16S. Now my setup real quick is I've got a battery connected to an ESC. The ESC puts out five volts. I'm gonna connect that to the receiver and I've got a little servo here to demonstrate a successful bind. In this binding plug just gets connected to this top set of pins. It says B slash YCC. So once you have that connected, you can connect your power. There are no markings showing which way the pins go, but I've figured it out. The signal pin goes up. So put your signal pin on the top, plug in your power and you'll see a red blinking light. Now on the internal RF multi-module, you want to select FlySky 2A. And there's a couple of options over here. When I, I kind of toyed around with this, and when I had it on anything but PWM SBus, I got little telemetry errors and notifications. So you got PWM IBus, PPM IBus, PWM SBus. I just put it on PWM SBus, and that just seemed to work without any errors in telemetry. There might be other ways to do it, but this one seems to work. Pick a receiver number. In my case, I'm going to use 51. And then hit bind. And once you hit bind, keep an eye on the receiver. I'm just going to put the receiver up here so you can see it. We'll go ahead and hit bind on the radio. And there you go. See how the red lights stop flashing? Now pull the bind plug out. And there we go, we've got servo movement. So we've got a successful bind. Okay, then as far as telemetry goes, just hop over to the telemetry screen, jump down to discover new sensors and hit go, and bam, it populates it just like it does for FR Sky receivers. I'm not sure what every single one of these mean. I know what RSSI is, I know what A1 is. I'm not sure what some of these others are, like RNSE and RSNR. That seems like it might be a noise ratio, but I'm not sure. Signal to, receiver signal to noise ratio. Yeah, that's probably what that is. Anyway, when I fly with this receiver, I'll look those up and get a feel for what they are. But telemetry popped right in. I didn't have to do anything special to the radio configuration. It just worked. So now stop discovery, and I'm sure all those values will be usable throughout the radio configuration. All right, that's all I've got on the FlySky FSIA6B bind with the TX16S. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. For those of you who are already subscribers, don't forget to hit the Amazon affiliate links for your consumable RC gear and go get a t-shirt. All right, that's all I've got for today. Take it easy.